Good morning, K6. All right, so we're gonna go back to having our stories on carpet time on Thursday, all right? So I got a very special story planned for you on Thursday. Now, today, just like Ruffalo said, we're gonna finish up our bird question. Now, if you were confused by the bird question and me talking so, so fast about science and math, that's okay. It's okay, it doesn't matter. It's okay if you're confused. What I want to show you is that science and math and research, so using a computer to find answers can be exciting, fun, interesting, and silly. All right, that's what I want you to know. So join me and let's look towards the moon. Fly me to the moon and let me dance among the stars. Let me know what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, hold my hand. In other words, baby, kiss me. Are you ready? Okay. Now, last time we talked about how incredibly far away the moon is. It's not over here. It's not, whoop, it's way over here. All right. We're too far for any birds to fly. We did talk about a lot of birds, many of which can fly a very, very long way, but nowhere near far enough to go to the moon, just like lots of you said. Today, we're going to talk about a bunch of other problems with space, which lots of our K6 superstars said. The first one is all about air, or no air. Now, all around the world, all around us is air, lots of air. Now, birds need air to fly with. They also, well, this bird cannot fly, he has to walk. Birds who can fly, though, do need air. Otherwise, their wings will not work. I will show you why. Here's a bird flying through the air. When he flaps his wings, it starts to make the air go by fast above and slower below. And I don't really understand why, but for some reason that helps him stay up in the air. And I also understand that if there's no air to go faster and slower because he's beating his wings, then he will fall down. Bye-bye! Lots of K6 superstars knew about this one. There's no air in outer space, and therefore we cannot breathe. And actually, there is no oxygen. Some of us use that word. And that's just a big word for the part of air which is important for us to breathe. Now, you will notice that the astronaut has a helmet. He uses that so that he can breathe, of course. Now, one of our K6 superstars had a really fantastically funny idea. He said, well, this looks rather like an egg, doesn't it? It does look like an egg on, his, on the astronaut's head. Well, birds have eggs. All birds have eggs. So why doesn't the bird just make a helmet out of an egg? And go like this. Oh, he has a helmet. Then he can go to space. Well, there is a problem with this idea. So this egg is very, very large compared to these eggs. The actual chicken egg is only this big, and this chicken egg will not fit on his head. Then I say it will not work. Very, very smart and very, very funny, but it will not work. Okay, the next two problems have to do with something called gravity. Now let's learn about that. Okay, here's the trampoline from Pinky and Lugu, and here is our friend Lugu. Right, okay, so he's jumping. Now, the trampoline makes him go up, but what makes him come down is called gravity. On Earth, everything falls down. In outer space, everything just floats away. Now you would think that that would help a bird to fly, but actually it makes a terrible mess. Let's find out why. Right. The first gravity type problem is called inertia. You see, if the bird is flying around the Earth, it is pretty hard to go up very far away from the Earth 
because it keeps getting pulled down just like Lugu. But if you get away from the Earth and there's no more gravity, you just keep on going. And that's just fine if you want to get somewhere, but the problem is when you get there, you cannot stop. Boom! And you smash into the moon. Very bad for a bird. The other problem of gravity is actually my very favorite of all. You see, if you don't have gravity, you forget which way is down. And if you forget which way is down, you forget which way is up. And then you forget which way is this and which way is that. And you start to get very confused and the bird has no idea which way to fly. And this is what happens. And it is very bad for a bird. And I will show you a little video to show you what's happening. Pigeons normally keep their bodies in a horizontal axis while in flight. These zero-g birds have lost their feeling for what is up or down and point in all directions, some even flying upside down. We are almost done. Now, let's think about birds and all that time. What's going to happen? He's going to get very hungry. There's nothing to eat. Nothing floating around in space to eat. He doesn't eat hamburgers. And, but there is also no mice to eat in space, so he will be very hungry. Now, one very last thing. My big brother is a scientist, and it was him who said something. I thought it would make me one of the K6 superstar friends, a child. But no, it was my big brother who said, but Mr. Hurd, what's going to happen if the bird poops in space? Hmm.